Hi, I'm Claudia and today we'll see an overview of the Kalti Interviewer interface. Let's do the login. When the interviewer enters the interface with his credentials, he will see the list of all the surveys that is associated with. He can just select the survey, click on Select, and then he will enter the actual interface. On the top part of the page, the interviewer will see information on the contact, like name, surname, in this case, the phone number that he can click to dial. If there's any phone numbers or other information, they will also display on this part of the screen. And then here on this box, you have the introduction text, which is the text that you can customize from the admin interface and that the interviewer will read when starting the interview. On the bottom part of the page, you have the three main buttons for the interviewer interface. When clicking on the green button, you will proceed with the survey and start with the actual interview. As you can see, in this case, you will enter the questionnaire that you created into the admin interface with all the answer, questions, and pages that you've inserted in there. In any moment of the interview, the interviewer can click on the red button to stop the interview. He can select the reasons of refusal from the list that the administrator imported into the system, or he can insert manually another information. The system automatically displays a new contact and other than the refusal button, the interviewer also has the pause button. In here you have other not definitive outcome like no answer, engaged or busy line, appointment that gives you the possibility to schedule an appointment with the contact for a specific date and time. For example, I can select a date and a time. Also put a note in there. and I can reserve or unreserve the appointment. If reserved is flagged, that means that the appointment will display just to this specific interviewer, or if it's not flagged, then it will display to any available interviewer at that date and time. I have another button on the pause button, which is send email. And this basically allows you to send an email to the contact to complete the interview via web. This is basically the mix mode. So the interviewer insert the email in here and then just clicking on send email, he can send the link to complete this interview via web. Obviously, some of these buttons are available also during the interview. So if I now start my interview, I can in any moment click on the red or pause button to basically select the disconnect outcome or to schedule the appointment later on or to send the email while the interview is ongoing and so on. On the upper left, you have the gear with button, which is the button that contains some settings of the interviewer. You have the possibility to enter a new phone number, uh, see contacts detail, uh, calls the record. Uh, in the appointments list, you have the possibility to see the list of all the appointments scheduled by the interviewer. Uh, obviously, these appointments will show up at that date and time, but um, if he wants, the interviewer can also start the interview and force the interview, clicking on Call button. You then have other settings and also the possibility to send uh, an email with information on the uh, survey that the contact is taking part into in any moment. That's all for our overview on telephone interface. If you want to see more on web, face-to-face -face, and admin interface, you can click on our channel and see the other videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.